Hello children, I am your EVS teacher. I hope you are well at home. In the last class, we learned Amruta. Amruta's lesson. It is about deforestation. Okay. So now this is the lesson. Fifth lesson, Anita and the honeybees. Okay. So in this lesson, we have to learn about honeybees. Do you know honeybees? Yes. It gives us honey from collecting from flowers okay children so see here anita she is hanita so see in your textbook my name is anita kushwaha i live in bojaha village this is in muzaffar district in bihar i stay with my parents and two younger brothers i study in college besides studying i teach young children i also keep honeybees okay so next all this has not been easy for me when i was young i used to spend all my time with my goats as they grazed for food i always wanted to go to school but my parents did not like the idea of girls going to school who is she she is anita anita Kushwaha. Where did she live? In a village called Bochaha village. Where it is? In a district. Muzaffar. Muzaffarpur district. Where it is? It is in Behar. Okay children. Okay. Next. I stay with my parents. And two younger brothers. How many brothers? Two younger brothers. I studied in a college. She always uh, likes to read or studies okay so how she spend that time that means she used to spend all my time with my goats as they grazed for food okay but she always wanted to go to school but her parents are not like to go to school her idea also they don't like to send to school okay but she would like to go to school okay besides studying she teach some younger children that means lower classes children okay so for that they earn some money and also uh, keep honeybees that means beekeeping okay see here so this is india map we have to locate bihar See here, it is Behar. Okay. So, Muzaffarpur district is in Behar. And Bochaha village is also here. Where it is in Behar. Okay. Now, a dream of school. One day, I peeped into the school in our village. Okay. I could not stay away. I silently went and sat down behind the children i felt so happy i went home and picked up courage to talk to my parents about going to school but they told me clearly that i could not do so that day i cried and cried one of the teachers in my village explained to my parents why it is important to study the teacher told them that they would not have to pay anything for my education. That means Anita's education up to class 8. The teacher said that it was the right of every child to go to school. Somehow my parents agreed. I started going to school. I did not get high marks but I always asked many questions. Okay children. So, peeped into, that means Tungi Chodam. One day, what she did? One day, I peeped into the school. Okay. What happened there? There are some children. Okay. They went and silently sit at the back bench. Okay. So, on that time, she felt very happy. Okay. So, then she went to home and asked their parents. Okay. So, what she asked? She is asking about 
going to school but their parents could not do so they are not agree okay so on the time she cried and cried okay why because she is interested to go to school okay she would like to studies okay so that's why she cried and cried okay so but what happened one of the teachers okay in her village one of the teacher explained to their parents okay what she explained you would not have to pay money for her studies up to class 8 okay that means free education okay so when the teacher said like that the parents would like and agree to her okay then she started to go to school she is going to school and she continued her studies okay but she get very less marks okay that means average but she always asked so many questions to the teacher okay look at children next staying in school time passed and soon i completed class 5 i knew that we would not we would need to spend more in class 6 my parents said that it was time for me to leave school but i wanted to study more i found a way to do this i started to teach younger children from the money that i got i was able to continue my own studies okay so time passed and she had to complete class 5 her parents said that don't go to school we have to leave the school they are telling like that okay but on the time she started to teach younger children okay so for that she earned some money so for that money she is able to continue her studies okay so in the time she has one sweet memory in her village what was it so i remember some older boys in my village they also used to teach young children they did not like it when i started teaching they started to scold and scare the children so that they would not come to me for some time all the children except to stop or coming to me but soon they all came back because i used to teach them with the love and care okay children in anita's village some of the boys older boys okay so this cold and scare scold means threatened scare means threatened by petted okay they started to scold and scare them scare the children don't go to anita okay why because they also started uh, teaching okay that's why they threatened the children okay but uh, except two children the remaining members stopped to coming to anita okay but soon after they will come to uh, they have to come to anita and uh, they learn something why because she used to teach them with love and care and also responsibility okay that's why all the children came back to anita okay next do you know that means act what is rte act in 2009 rte means right to education this provides the right of free and compulsory education to each child is 6 to 14 years okay that is a right to act or rte act okay so slowly i started talking to other parents in the village about sending their daughters to school my parents also started helping me in my work my mother used to do all the housework 
so that I could get more time to study. Okay. So first this cold hair. Don't go to school. But after some time, okay, about teacher words, they respect their words and they help to their work. That means Anita's work. So for that, she spent more time on studies. Okay, children. Okay. So, RTE Act, Right to Education. Not only this one. We have so many government acts. Beti Bachavo, Beti Padavo. Next, Bangaru Tali. Such type of schemes help us to who interested interested to read or to continue their studies. Okay. Next, from school to beekeeping. There are many lychee trees in our area so here it lychee means one of the species okay honeybees are attracted to the lychee flowers why because it provides a fragrance that means sweet smell that's why honeybees attracted to lychee flowers smell many people do beekeeping and collect honey i thought that i could also do this I joined a course run by the government to learn about this. I was the only girl in this course. Okay, during my training, I found that honeybees lay their eggs from October to December. This was the best time to start beekeeping. Okay, so what happened here? Here, lychee trees. Okay, honeybees are attracted to the lychee flowers okay so it is so many beekeeping that means apiculture beekeeping means apiculture okay we call it also as apiculture okay she think about apiculture and she joined the course that is run by the government okay it is very helpful for her studies for that beekeeping she earned some money okay she during her training period she observed honeybees lay their eggs in the month of october to december okay this is the right time to start the beekeeping okay children from the eggs if we have to collect honeybees and from bees we get honey okay see here becoming a beekeeper okay after she completing her training she already she already started beekeeping okay see here i completed my beekeeping course but i did not have money to keep my own bees and start work i continued to teach and with time could collect 5000 rupees with this money i bought two boxes for keeping bees each box cost 2000 okay so with the remaining money i bought sugar to make sugar syrup for honeybees and medicines to clean the beehives okay so what she did after completing her training she collected uh, she want to do that means uh, beekeeping okay but she didn't have enough money okay but she continued to teach the children okay for that money how much money she had 5000 okay so for that money she bought two boxes each box 2000 rupees the remaining money she has to use to buy sugar syrup sugars and some medicines to clean the bay highs okay so that is that was in September. Okay. That means in the month of October to December, honeybees lay their eggs. That is the right time to start the beekeeping. Okay. So in the month of September and by December, she had to so many bees that I had to buy two more boxes. Okay. How many boxes she bought? She bought two boxes. Okay. Okay, I was still learning about beekeeping. Many times the bees would sting me and my hands and face would get swollen. I would pain a lot. 
how could i complain to anyone i myself had decided to do this work okay she started in the month of december okay so she bought two boxes okay with that uh, two boxes she earned some money she already interested to bought uh, some more boxes okay so in that cultivation that means in bee keeping she would sting by the honey bees hands face and remaining parts also. okay in that time the parts were swollen and she get very pain okay she is unable to explain to anybody why because that is her interest okay they have to do with her interest okay she only decided to do this work that's why she is she could not complain to anybody okay every day i cycle to my college my college is in the town 5 kilometers away when i go to college my mother prepares the syrup sugar syrup for the bees my father looks after the bees and takes the honey out of the boxes okay children so that means she already started bee keeping and also she has to continue her studies okay so she how she go to school that means she is using cycle okay 5 kilometers away from her village okay she went to school by cycle okay so in that time her mother prepares sugar syrup for the bees and her father look after the bees by taking medicines cleaning whatever it is okay so next one in her village okay and they is known by everyone in all the villages nearby she goes to all the village meetings and talks about how important it is for everyone to study sometimes people make fun of her but anita knows what she wants to do she does exactly what she wants to do okay anita wants to become a wholesaler whole seller so that she can help the villagers to get the right price for their honey okay so that means here she already continued her studies and also become a bee keeper okay so she already conducted village meetings that means she attended so many village meetings that means with other village other people in her village okay and uh, so one of the time uh, every time and sometimes people make her fun okay that means they comment her but anita knows what she want to do that one only she have to do okay children so after that that means she would like to uh, educate the villagers educate their villagers that means girls okay so anita wants to become a wholesaler so for that business she earn lot of money okay see here honey bees okay so this is bee hive every bee hive has one queen bee so this is the bee hive in this bee hive one bee hive that lays eggs there are only few males in the hive most of the bees in the hive are worker bees that means in a bee hive uh, three categories that means three types of bees one is queen bee and male bees and worker bees okay so here queen bee only lay their eggs and uh, few of um, males okay help to fertilize the eggs okay so most of the bees the worker bees these bees work all the day how they make the hive and also look after the baby bees okay they fly around the flowers in search of nectar okay 
they collect nectar from flowers for honey when one bee finds flowers with nectar it does a special kind of dance by which the other bees can know where the nectar is okay so that means uh, they also made some different kind of sounds also that is called buzzing sound how it is zzz, such kind of sounds okay so when it find the nectar then automatically remaining bees find out okay the worker bees are very important for the hive without worker bees there would be neither hive nor any nectar that means here worker bees are very very important all bees in the hive would go hungry the male bees have no special role as workers okay children that means here male bees help to fertilize the eggs okay how many types of bees queen bees male bees and worker bees okay you understood children okay read your textbook thank you